run in Australia because we have definitely adopted you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um... I'm not going to lie, you know, I didn't think ever that coming to Australia was going to lead to a Group 1. And, and I, honestly, for it to be on an English horse in Australia, I think makes it even more special because, you know, obviously the relationship with William Haggis has sort of developed over the last year or so. Not that Australians would have noticed, but um, it was... It was sort of, I was getting on a lot of nice horses at the end of the year and I was really looking forward to what this year would bring and obviously with the news for English racing that they're not on, um, it's been pretty hard times for everyone so I guess for for English racing fans to see a Group 1 winner in Australia is, is pretty special. It's obviously very, very special for you to get your first Group 1. I mean, this is something that you would have dreamed of getting and now you've done it. Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone everyone that becomes a jockey wants to win a Group 1, um, if not many Group 1s and, and certainly that's the ambition like I say to have come down here and ridden it down here but on an English horse for William Haggis you know I can't thank thank him for the opportunity enough and um, also for Sheikh Ahmed for putting me on board because you know it's, it's a it's a big thing sending a horse down here it takes a lot of money and a lot of guts and um, and yeah I can't I can't be thankful enough to be honest with you he was so tough in the yeah, end as well he very elegant came and eyeballed you but you just knew and he just knew that he had to dig deep and he was too strong in the end yeah you know he's not raced on ground with, with anything but soft in the description for oh, possibly a year, year and a half, um, and it's been it's been for good reason. But I think you know there's a day there's a day for every horse they can get away with ground they don't want once. And <laughs> thankfully for me, unfortunately for me, um, today was that day. Well, you still got Prague coming up in the slipper. It 